Good morning, my brothers and sisters. Welcome to episode 18 of Be With Me. Uh, we're in the book of First Thessalonians. I'm going to title today, Evil Overcomes Versus Overcoming Evil. I'm going to make an argument today for evil. I know that sounds crazy. Let me give you the conclusions because I want to give them to you and myself twice. Number one, I have a personal battle with evil. Number two, I am inclined towards evil. Number three, I am inclined to repay evil for evil. Number four, I don't do evil very well. I don't do it accurately. I don't do vengeance well. Number five, evil wants to overcome me. And number seven, I will overcome evil with good. And I suppose number eight is I'm going to leave uh, uh, vengeance and repayment of evil to God. All right. So this all comes from a very practical section at the end of First Thessalonians where uh, Paul is giving the Thessalonians incredibly practical uh, advice. And I'm just going to do one verse today. Uh, I was overcome with evil today, I suppose. This is from First Thessalonians chapter 5, verse uh, 15. See that no one repays anyone evil for evil, but always seeks to do good to one another and to everyone. See that no one repays anyone evil for evil, but always seeks to do good to one another and to everyone. All right, so just a principle about Bible study. Uh, I find it that where it is possible, uh, I try to daily have a posture of practical, immediate obedience. In other words, I look for things in my day that are reflected in the passage that I read today. Rather than saying, hey, I'm going to obey that someday or I'll find I'll put that on the shelf and maybe something someday I'll pull it off the shelf. Um, so it might be something small today, but I want to move towards obedience and yielding in both in understanding as well sometimes with my hands or my tongue or my zipper or my feet. Uh, so today the topic is is uh, evil. So that's fun. Um, and it says that, see that no one, and he's talking to the brotherhood. So primarily here, he's talking about even within the church, you're going to find evil. And certainly outside the church, outside the brotherhood, outside of Christianity, you're certainly going to find uh, evil. And here's the thing is, part of this uh, passage is just even getting people to admit that there's evil, getting myself to admit that there's evil, both within myself within others in the church, within uh, and within the world. It's not always been like this. There was a time before the fall. In my Bible, it's only three pages long. The other 1, 1,500 pages uh, talk about a fallen uh, world where evil kind of runs a, a little bit rampant. So it's been like this for a long time. Uh, just one one hopeful thought is it's not always going to be like this. So when we get to heaven... This thing we're talking about today won't even be uh, addressed. There won't be evil in heaven. It's going to be banished and put in the lake of fire. Or God's going to take care of it somewhere. But it's not going to be where uh, believers and the people of God are. But this is kind of like, well, in the meantime, how should we address uh, evil? First of all, there's a head part of it, then there's a heart part of this, and a, there's a hand part of it. The the first part about it is the head part about it. Just getting our heads around uh, evil. Genesis 6, 5. So this is on page 6 of my Bible. It says, The Lord saw that the wickedness of man was great in the earth. And that, get this, listen to this. Every inclination of the thoughts of his heart was only evil continually. I mean, that's a real pick-me-up there, that every inclination of the thoughts of his heart was only evil. So today, this passage that we're talking about in First Thessalonians talks about the inclination of our heart. Listen to the passage again. See to it that no one repays anyone evil for evil. So that is when someone does evil or we are exposed to evil, our inclination, our our first thought, our first repayment is to repay with evil. Um, 
So more about our hearts, Jeremiah 17, 12. Every one of you follows his stubborn, evil will, refusing to listen to me. So it's out there, ladies and gentlemen. I wanted to go to a passage in uh, Romans that discusses this just a little bit more at length. And this is Romans 12, 17. And just the same principles in in there. Um, Repay no one evil for evil, but give thought to do what is honorable in the sight of all. If possible, so far as it depends on you, live peaceably with all. Beloved, never avenge yourselves. That's something we're inclined to do. But leave it to the wrath of God, for it is written, vengeance is mine, I will repay. So there's something we're supposed to let go of. That is vengeance. That is repaying. We don't do this well. We get this wrong all the time. Though our evil response to evil against us uh, we, we need to set that aside, leave that to God. So that's the let go part of. But then he's going to talk about what, the, what part can we put on. To the contrary, here it is, is verse 20 from chapter 12 of Romans. To the contrary, if your enemy is hungry, feed him. If he's thirsty, give him something to drink. For by doing so, you will heap burning coals on his head. So here's a good principle for concluding verse. Do not be overcome by evil, but overcome evil with good. So we have something that we can do. All right, so let me review again. Is you have, I have a personal battle with evil. Let's just admit that. Number two, I am inclined towards evil. These are both uncomfortable. Number three, I am inclined to repay evil for evil. So even if it's not bubbling to the surface, one thing that makes it bubble to the surface is evil outside myself. And then I respond to it in an evil well, in an evil evil way. Number four, we don't do this accurately. I don't do this accurately. It's not my place. God has made this, that God will repay evil. He will do the, the vengeance. I'm going to leave this to him. I'm going to let go of my my first response, which is evil for evil. And then I'm going to put on goodness. I'm going to overcome evil with goodness. So practically today, you just might encounter evil. I, I plan on it. It's going to it, it's going to come. Let's do two things today. Number one, let go, and let let's let God handle the wrath. Let's God handle the repayment. And then secondly, let's grab hold of the good. That is, don't be overcome by evil, but overcome evil with good. Have fun today. Uh, Go look for evil. Uh, It will find us. Thanks for listening.